Hello everyone, my name is Adrian Robles and I'm a DBI for Optima Family Services out of Rancho Cucamonga. And today we're going to be reading The Story of Ferdinand, one of my personal favorites. This is by Monroe Leaf and uh, let's get started. So this is The Story of Ferdinand by Monroe Leaf. Drawings are by Robert Lawson. Once upon a time in Spain. There was a little bull and his name was Ferdinand. All the other little bulls he lived with would run and jump and butt their heads together. But not Ferdinand. He liked to sit and just quietly and smell the flowers. He had a favorite spot out in the pasture under a cork tree. It was his favorite tree and he would sit in its shade all day and smell the flowers. Sometimes his mother, who was a cow, would worry about him. She was afraid he would be lonesome all by himself. Why don't you run and play with the other little bulls and skip and butt your head, she would have say. But Fernand would shake his head. I like it better here, where I can sit just quietly and smell the flowers. His mother saw that he was not lonesome, and because she was an understanding mother, even though she was a cow, she let him just sit there and be happy. As the years went by, Ferdinand grew and grew until he was very big and strong. All the other bulls who had grown up with him in the same pasture would fight each other all day. They would butt each other and stick each other with their horns. What they wanted most of all was to be picked to fight at the bullfights in Madrid. Madrid is in Spain. But not Ferdinand. He still liked to sit just quietly under the cork tree and smell the flowers. One day, five men came in very funny hats to pick the biggest, fastest, roughest bull to fight in the bullfights of Madrid. Look at all those funny hats, huh? All the other bulls ran around snorting and butting, leaping and jumping, so the men would think that they were very, very strong and fierce and pick them. Fernand knew that they wouldn't pick him, and he didn't care. So he went out to his favorite cork tree to sit down. He didn't look where he was sitting, and instead of sitting on the nice, cool grass in the shade, he sat on a bumblebee. Well, if you were a bumblebee and a bull sat on you, what would you do? You would sting him, and that's just what the bee did to Ferdinand. And you can see he just got stung because of those eyes. Look at those eyes. He knew something was wrong. Wow, did it hurt? Ferdinand jumped up with a snort. He ran around puffing and snorting, butting and pawing, and pawing the ground as if he were crazy. Well, if a bee stung me, probably would look crazy too, running around. The five men saw him and they all shouted with joy. Here, was the largest and the fiercest bull of all. Just the one for the bull fights in Madrid. Look at them all out there, all excited. 
excited. So they took him away for the bullfight day in a cart. Cart. I'm looking for a man right there. What a day it was. Flags were flying, bands were playing. As you see the crowd hanging out there. People hanging out of the, the windows cheering. And all the lovely ladies had flowers in their hair. All of them in their lavish headdresses with flowers. They had a parade into the bullfight or the bull ring. First came the bun. First came the banderilleros with long sharp pins with ribbons on them to stick in the bowl and make him mad. Next came the picadores who rode skinny horses and they had long spears to stick in the bowl and make him madder. These long spears, my goodness. Then came the matador, the proudest of all. He thought he was very handsome and bowed to the ladies. He had a red cape and a sword and was supposed to stick the bull last of all. You see this sword right here on top of the pillow. Then came the bull, and you know who that was, don't you? It's Ferdinand. They called him Ferdinand the Fierce, and all the bandieros were afraid of him, and the picadores were afraid of him, and the matador was scared stiff. Look at their faces, all of them. Scared. Ferdinand ran into the middle of the ring, and everyone shouted and clapped because they thought he was going to fight fiercely and butt and snort and stick his horns around. Ferdinand right there with the whole crowd looking. But not Ferdinand. When he got to the middle of the ring, he saw the flowers in all the lovely lady's hair, and he just sat down quietly and smelled. Yeah, just hanging out, sitting down, enjoying the scents of his flowers. He wouldn't fight and be fierce no matter what they did. He just sat and smelled. And the bandilleros, or bandilleros, uh, were mad, and the picadores were madder, and the matador was so mad, he cried because he couldn't show off his, with his cape and sword. So they had to take Ferdinand home. Look at that. There he is, leaving. He looks kind of happy, too. He's going home. And for all I know, he's still, or he's sitting there still, under the favorite cork tree, smelling the flowers just quietly. He's very happy. And the end. Next up, we're going to be talking about our little project. All right, so uh, we have our project, and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating... Ferdinand, a little mini Ferdinand the Bull, right? So what we're going to need is we're going to need uh, this color Crayola, or uh, yeah, Crayola uh, printout that we'll provide in the links. Also, uh, you know, colored pencils or crayons, and so we can color in Ferdinand as well as scissors. And last but not least, we'll need toilet paper roll. Okay. So uh, with everything, you know, if we use scissors, we want to make sure that mom and dad or our uh, parental guardian is, uh, is watching. Also, maybe helping us cut that out as well. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to color in Fernand. OK, 
Okay, so first we're going to put Fleur Nan together, and in order to do that, we have to use tape, okay? Use a uh, glue stick, or you could use glue, uh, but uh, like Elmer's glue. Uh, I think that tape would be cleaner and also better in this, uh, or faster, I should say, in this case. Okay, so we put our, you know, tape or our scissors off to the side, and then we'll grab a piece of tape, a little one, okay? And then we're going to just make a little loop with the sticky side outward, okay? All right, and then we're going to put this right on the bottom next to, on the bottom where his snout is, right here on the bottom, okay? And then we're going to attach his head right here. So it looks like he's looking straight at you, just like this. Cool, huh? Other thing too is uh, we're going to be using tape to tape Ferdinand to the uh, toilet paper roll, okay? Like that, all right. And then now we're going to attach his backside, just like so. Awesome. And then here we are, Ferdinand. Oh, there he is sitting down. Maybe we should probably attach another piece on his backside so he's not sitting down. But you know, he could be sitting down, smelling the flowers, right? I mean... I give you Ferdinand the Bull. If you like more of these, please go ahead and like and share. Also, comment. Uh, Please give us uh, direct messages and tell us what else we could do better for, for future activities and uh, we'll, we'll see you soon, okay, for the next activity.